Hi, I'm Mehul Harry with DevExpress. In this video, you'll see the new feature of the ASP.NET File Manager that lets you define security so you can tell which users have access to certain features of the ASP.NET File Manager. And you can define at a very granular level who can edit files, who can upload files, and to which folders as well as specific file types. So let's take a look. The DevExpress ASP.NET File Manager now allows you to control access to files and folders by giving you a set of options to control at a very granular level the file and folder permissions for access as well as upload. So let's take a look. Here I'm looking at the ASPX file managers new demo that shows us a certain set of roles we've defined. Now we've created some roles here like default user, document manager, media monitor, and administrator to show you how different folders and files that are exposed can be controlled with the role that is defined on the ASPX file manager. So first, let's see it in action. Say I'm a default user. If I just want to show some files to the default user, I can use this role to say they can browse at the different files, but they can't actually edit anything or upload any other files. Now, let's say I switch over to the document manager role. This role should have the option to control when in the documents folder if they can create a new file or folder as well as modify an existing file. So let's say in the documents I want to be able to change the name of this file so I'll call it managers2.rtf or simply delete the file. Now I don't want to delete the file so I'll hit cancel. Now let's go over to the media moderator role. Now this role I want to define so that they only have access to the media folder and not to the documents folder. So while I'm still in the document folder we can see that now once we apply this role the document is not able to be edited at all and if we go over to any of the media folders for example the music folder if I click on Dean Martin I have access to change these as well as uh, some of the other files. Now you'll notice there are some exceptions. For example, when I click on the about.xml, I have no options. Now I'll come back and show you why that is in just a minute. And finally, let's take a look at the administrator role. This role allows the user to define and look at items that are not available to any of the other roles. So for example, one of the new folders that appeared when going to administrator was the system folder and this folder exposes a couple of files that should not be available to anybody else as well as modifying them and the administrator role also has access full rights to all of the other folders and the administrator role can also upload files now let's take a look at the code behind for this if we take a look at the ASPX markup here I can see here's the few roles that are defined now what these are essentially are name value pairs that we've created and the access rules defined on each folder in the ASP.NET file manager is what really defines what those rights are. So the first thing is we simply define what those roles will be called. So for example, we have things like the default user, document manager, media monitor, and administrator. And if we take a look at the ASPX file manager, we'll see that there's a new collection called settings permission, which has a collection within it called access rules, which defines the two type of rules, the folder access rule, and the file access rule. The folder access rule defines it at the folder level and the file access rule defines it at the file level. So here we can see that by default nobody has access to any of the folders. So the rights that we've defined here is deny. Now I call it rights because this is the rights enumeration type and it takes three different values allow, deny, or default. And the folder access rule can take a few values. So properties you can set up for it are browse, edit, edit contents, and upload. And for the file access rule, we can define browse, edit, and download. Now as we continue to look, we've got a general file access rule here that says if it's an XML file, nobody can mess with it. In essence, simply deny it. And that's why when we try to access the XML file within the music folder, we were denied even as an administrator. Now, as you can see, we've set up some default basic rules that says don't allow access to anybody for the, any of the folders. Do not allow any access to the files that end in XML and do not allow access to the system folder. Now, we can actually go ahead 
and look up the other rules that will override these. So here we've got the folder access rule that says, okay, if I am in the document manager role, then the path to the documents folder should be allowed. Now I want to allow everything from edit content. So let's take a quick look at this in action again. Now if we go back to document manager here and go to the documents folder, I can see not only can I edit these items, except for the XML file, I can also upload. So the edit contents allows me to upload and I still have access to define what type of extensions get uploaded and so forth. Now, if I wanted to specifically deny uploading of the files, well, I can do that as well by adding this value for upload deny. Now, there's a much easier way to manage this and I'll show you that in just a minute. Now, we've got another folder access rule here for the music folder that says, if it's a media moderator role, then allow it contents to the music folder as well as the video folder. But I do not want the media access role to be able to upload anything. I simply want them to allow editing of the contents, but I don't want any uploads. And finally, the folder access rule for the administrator role allows editing as well as browsing. Now, let's take a look at this in Visual Studio and see how easy it is to set up. I've opened up the same example that we were just looking at that is installed with our installation. And if we took a look at the ASP.NET File Manager here, we can see that we've got those folders that we defined as well as a few access roles. And here's the folders that we're exposing. Now, I want to define some of the permissions for these. So if we take a look at the properties, what we can do is in the design mode, click on the smart tag of the ASPX File Manager and click on Access Rules. And this will bring up the access rules editor for the ASPX file manager. Now here, right away, we can see that there's two rules that we can define, a file access rule and a folder access rule. So we've taken a look at all the different five access rules that we've seen so far. So the default one being that I want to deny any editing of any folders. Then a file access rule comes in and says, okay, for anything ending in XML, I want to deny edits on it. And one more for the system folder that says deny any access, browse access to it. As you can see, there are four different types of permissions. Browse, edit, edit contents, as well as upload. And here, we've now gone ahead and defined specific access rules for folders for these specific roles. Now, let's say I want to add a new rule in here. Say I want to add a new rule for the document manager to not show any RTF files. Well, what I can do is I can add a new file access rule that says any file ending in star.rtf and if the role is document manager, I want it to deny even browsing that file. So they won't even be able to see this file. Now I'll click OK. Let's save it. Let's rebuild it. Now let's see it in action. Now when we switch over to the document manager role and I go to the documents folder, I can see that I have no access to view any of the RTL files. And I'll see that if I go to the administrator role, the RTL file certainly exists there, but because I added the new access rule, I'm not able to actually see that value. Now, as I mentioned, this can be done per user. So for example, if in your database you load a user information and save this role, you can easily apply it to the ASPX file manager by using its role property. So if you look at the settings permission, you have the access rules collection we just looked at to the access rules editor, as well as role. Now for this demo, we're setting the role from code behind because we have several to demo. But you can just as easily set it through the designer as well as through code behind. So as you saw, you can define at a very granular level the folder rules as well as the file access rules. Now, this will be part of the HP Experience Suite in the 2011 Volume 1. Thanks for watching.